will be ghost by h a manhood in the story a very old house named prisamba grants was for sale and its furniture was to be auctioned the narrator decided to visit prisamba grants as the head of the family had promised to give him a pair of carved cherubs that hung at the top of the winding stairs on reaching there he found the porter busy with the sale but he was informed that the pair of cherubs was not included in the list of items on sale the porter informed him maybe they were in the attic room so the narrator decided to move to the attic to find out if he could get his hands on the pair of cherubs the house was enveloped in silence sometimes the silence was broken by the rap of the auctioneer's gavel on the first floor he could hear someone sobbing bitterly on opening the door he found a little girl who must have been 7 years old kneeling by the side of a open window weeping on inquiring he he was told that her name was roena roena told the narrator that her aunt worked as a housekeeper in prisamba grants and that she had been staying there ever since her mother had passed away she told the narrator that she did not want to leave this beautiful house and go back to the ugly town where she came from the narrator tried to cheer her up by telling her maybe she should try scaring the crowd so that the house would not be sold he further added that he could she could take the help of a ghost or become a temporary ghost herself the idea was wholeheartedly accepted by roena who said a uh, bye to the narrator and moved out of the room next the narrator went to the living room of the prisamba grants which was crowded with people the crowd is said to be thick and merry he pushed his, his himself into the room suddenly he saw a huge cloud of soot flowing into the room clothes were blackened faces were smudged when the fog cleared people started sneezing the narrator thought that maybe this could be roena's move soon a, an old lady screamed saying that there were mice all over her half a dozen left the room hurriedly now the auctioneer was getting irritated he knocked down the gavel informing that the that the auction would go on just then there was a rotten smell which seemed to fill the room ignoring that he went on with the auction the trouble did not end here then the roof started leaking the auctioneer was gradually getting irritated and losing his patience also he called out for the porter to find out what could be the problem to go and find out from where the water was leaking from the ceiling just then there was a loud sound of someone playing in a frenzied manner on a harp and an harp is a string musical instrument then the auctioneer stood up he started hammering the gavel furiously on the table and called out that the police should be called immediately but he hadn't a chance because someone cried out that the fire had broken out people started jamming the door they moved out some were even picking up the souvenir that was scattered all over the room and they were running to safety there was fire all over the place the house was alight smoke was coming out from the upper window and the roof now the narrator started looking out for roena hoping that she had not told anyone that this idea had been given to her by the narrator to soon the fire engine arrived the narrator decided that it's better for him to move away because he would be questioned by the constables when he went out of the house because he had left the car in the lane at the back of the house he was surprised to see roena sitting very calmly playing with her collection of doll and flowers singing to herself as though she did not know about the disturbance that was going on in prisamba grants 
she was she seemed to be totally unaware the narrator told her that she had certainly done a wonderful job of scaring the people with mice soot water and fire roena looked at him suspiciously and said that she was not responsible for all that all that she had done is she had emptied some paint down the stairs her aunt had explained her that they would be going to a nicer house with a river running through the garden so she did not bother any more this left the narrator puzzled he had even more questions in his mind when he found the cherubs at the back of his car on the back seat of his car each with a ripe cherry in its mouth it was surprising because it was the month of september and cherries were long gone so this story raises too many questions so do, who do you think hosted was it roena or was it her mother the questions are left to you